Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. Nice little ride out. Uh, actually, yeah, just a little ride out today on the country roads. Lovely weather today. Weather's absolutely gorgeous. So we're just uh, going to experience a little bit of this. Lovely weather today, really. A bit windy today, so uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Had a little bit of an issue with the sound or uh, the audio through the GoPro, but uh, hopefully that's rectified. Been a bit of a pain in the arse lately, to be honest, but never mind. Yeah, a little bit of a pain in the arse. It's been a bit muffled, but uh, hopefully it's sorted. Uh, we'll find out when we go back and uh, edit the video. If not, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any ideas on it, on uh, how to improve the sound quality, on a, well, I've got a GoPro Hero 8, currently with a media mod. But anyway, yeah, hopefully things are okay. And no problems. Just out today, enjoying the ride, really. If you're new to the channel, there's plenty of uh, reviews coming. New bike reviews and uh, ride outs. Today we're out uh, on the Norfolk Coast Road, one of my favourite routes. If you're an existing subscriber, you'll probably even recognise the roads. <laughs> yeah. Bit windy, but still nice to be out on the machine. A few people out and about today. Yeah, sometimes you just can't beat going out on this bike just for a leisurely ride. She loves to be wound open as well. That lovely sound from that triple, en triple engine. Take some beating. Plenty of cyclists out and about. Hello, sir. <laughs> Enjoying the weather. Coming into horsey. Uh, not horsey, sorry. Uh, Waxham. Yeah, these roads are nice, but the only thing you have got to watch is the uh, mud on the roads and uh, pedestrians wandering about. Lots of holiday makers about. In September at the moment, near on the end of September, so got to make the most of this weather when we can, while we can really. Oh, another thing you've got to watch is the old um, tractors. You can come hammering around a bend and uh, find yourself confronted with a tractor doing about five mile an hour. <laughs> Full of potatoes on the back there. God, at least pumping loads of smoke out. I don't really want to be following him for too long. Hopefully he'll turn off, or I can knock it down a couple of pegs and breeze past him. Or her. <laughs> yeah, I do really love going back to the, this uh, machine. The uh, Triumph 765 Street Triple. Here we go. Nothing behind. Street Triple RS. I have taken out the, the Speed Triple. There is a review on the channel, if you haven't seen that, feel free, and uh, let me know. If you own one of these, could you see yourself upgrading to uh, the Speed Triple? And personally, myself, um, well, other than that it's £5,000 more, that's a new price, obviously. Five thousand pounds more was a fair old wedge of cash. You know, are you getting? You know, that much more bike for that additional money? You know, it's gone to half the price of a new one of these again. Well, that's an amazing bike. I just love these roads. But yeah. I don't think of myself could personally justify it because this is such a cracking bike, you know, this one. 
a lovely view here today. Fields have just been cut. Oh, got airborne then. <laughs> Hello sir. Oh, got a wave from the biker. Not a nod, but a wave. Surprising actually when you nod to bikers. Generally you get a wave back, but you, you, you know, I, I generally nod and wave at all of them. But uh, you'd be surprised that you know, the amount that don't. Great on this bike, unbelievable. Them 50 calibers. Brembo's. Lovely roads these. Lots of mud in the road though here and there. <laughs> oh, slow down a bit. Not really going out anywhere in particular today, which is always nice. I'll just spank the old Triumph for just a nice leisurely ride. Oh, let a bit of air in. It's a good opportunity as well today to test the sound, see what's going on with that. Might have to go back to the old traditional mic adapter if you know anything about recording or all this motor vlogging malarkey then uh, you'll be fully aware of the uh, the audio issues you can have you know trying to perfect the audio and uh, it's a bit bizarre I think you got it right and then uh, you get let down again and it's not until you get home and you look you, you know you you download your content and you realize not quite the white van man but the blue van man so yeah not messing about. <laughs> so I say what I like about this bike is you can utilize a lot of that performance and power unlike a lot of these other other bikes on the market today Ooh. beautiful roads I don't know how many times I've said that in this video but venturing out a little bit further today than normal another thing I do like with this bike is uh, occasionally you get that traction control kick in but you don't really notice it's not intrusive at all I've been out in the wet a few times and uh, you can see the light flickering traction control light flickering and uh, don't really notice any issues with the bike kicking out or anything just keeping you in check really no problems can't beat the sound of the intake and the exhaust sound on this uh, on this model Haysborough Lighthouse there, let a bit of air in again. Haysborough Lighthouse on the coast, We're on the east coast, Norfolk. Haysborough Church. Yeah, the bends do start, the twisty do, twisties do start getting really interesting in a minute, if I remember rightly. A little bit further along. So the only downside is just the road surface. Oh, 
Better go easy now. School uh, is kicking out. Thank you. What a lovely little village of Haysborough. Load of new houses going up there. They seem to be building everywhere nowadays. Any bit of spare land or... Got on some decent roads now. Oh. Just the pure sound of that exhaust. Oh, way to shite on the road here. Slow it down. Can't keep that up. <laughs> I think we'll take a right up here and we'll head towards Walcott. Lovely little um, village by the sea. Well, this is all by the sea. This is all along the coast. So, uh, take a right here. Perfect weather today. I think we've got rain forecast for the next couple of days, so I'm not going to get out too much more, I don't think. Oh. Well, the fives are fully open now, I don't know, I know they do open face visors, but I don't think I could cope with that. There's too much shit flying around and... No. Not good. I know it's nice to feel the wind in your face, but Jesus, you get a stone flick up from a tyre in front of you. Hit you in the face, you know about it, or in the eye. Corner. I, can't, I couldn't keep that down for long. Up for long, sorry. Yeah, now coming into Walcott. Yeah, just, quite, just a little enjoyable ride out today. Like I've said, nowhere in particular. Should be able to see the sea in a minute, actually. Skull and crossbones flag there. <laughs> Looks a bit choppy out there, actually, the sea. It's always very busy up here. People coming down for their ice cream and uh, or fish and chips. Hello sir, are you gonna move or <laughs> Yeah, it's breezy today. Little fish and chip fish and a chip shop there. I don't know if you can see those two towers in the distance there, we'll go past there actually, that's um, Mac Bacton Gas Terminal. As we're on the east coast here we've got gas pipelines for, uh, running from offshore into Bacton. The gas uh, processing and distribution. 
I'll say we'll, uh, we'll head that we'll head, we'll head out that way and have a little look. Glorious. The old display here is nice and crisp actually. Got sort of bright bright sunshine on on the display there and it's fairly good. I know you can get screen protectors and anti-glare protectors which are a very good idea. I mean I, I'm contemplating um, I've actually used them on any of my bikes uh, in the past but I might actually give them a go and uh, see what they're all about. Obviously if you can you know scratch the you know the, the glass there on the TFT so you'd be protecting that as well. However I don't generally take because I don't take the bike out in in the rain unless I get caught out in the rain I, don't, I generally don't have to wash the bike I just tend generally just sort of well just dust it off really but uh yeah I mean obviously if you go out in the rain and that and you get caught out then you have to get the hose pipe out <laughs> I'll take it right here towards Bacton hopefully that car will go straight on Yep. This is a uh, bit of a Mr. Daisy, I think. But we are going through the villages, so. So we're now coming into Backton. Another little fish and chip shop there. Go on. Thanks for joining me today, just on a little ride out. Hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.